it all through college, and you don't do stuff like that. Well, on the East Coast, you didn't because you would have maggots by the next day. It's a little drier here for where that is quite as much. But uh, anyway. Whoa! We got we got a party going on over there. there we go. Good. As usual. Um, as usual. As usual. It's 105. It's a party. I took a teaser. Hey, how was the project? Hard. If you forgot it, that's okay. You no, got to rent in a coupon. Remember? I did it. I did oh, you did it. it. I okay. just don't know if I did it. I hope you did. The second half was hard. I, yeah. The half was tough. Oh, the oil, the oil barrel opening in the. Oh, okay. So the point of that one, I brought. The reason it was so long was I was making it step by step for you, and the reason it was hard, I think, Christine, just going on historical. I change that question about once a year with different context. But somebody asked me that question, was, you know, why are oil slicks so big? I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's because, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, let's just have you guys prove why they're so big. Right. And they're so big because oil spreads out a molecule thick. Yeah, it's yeah. so, so thin. And, and that's, I think, those numbers are what made it, those numbers combined with the largeness of the circle created, I think is what's throwing people off. You gotta trust your instincts. You guys have good numerical instincts. You went through your entire lives as algebra students being told being told the opposite. Yeah. But I've been with you for five, six weeks now. I know you've got good numerical instincts. You've got gut feelings when things are right or wrong. You second guess yourselves constantly. I know that too. I know you second guess yourselves. But COCC students have a really, really good intuition for when something is off. That's different from feeling nervous about knowing you're doing something right. You have to realize that the numbers I'm giving you to play with in these... Oh, hang on one second, guys. Hang on one second. The numbers I'm giving you guys to play with in these are all based on experiences I've either had or conversations I've had. In other words, life math. That oil barrel. I mean, if you read the actual project text, the whole thing came to be from that discussion with me and my friends. Let's go climb the pyramids. It was really fascinating, but I just... I don't feel confident in my answer. Oh, I feel confident. Did you compare with somebody else? No, I went to the tutoring center. Oh, good! Was that helpful? I hope. I think that he... Good! I mean, it made sense in my head when he explained it to me. Makes me happy. That, that makes me happy. That's why I love the fact when you guys talk to each other about this. How many of you guys do it on a regular basis? You're talking to each other about, about one... Oh, God, two, three, four. Okay, only four, five. Oh, that's not a whole lot. Not that you have to. Not that you have to. I just like the fact that people are doing it. Um, I'm going to throw this out one more time. We're 60% through the course now, which is hard to think so about. Crazy. But that 243 Facebook page one of the students set up is getting ridiculous traffic from oh. both 243s. The other professors, 243s, are dropping in on it and talking to each other. So basically, what the students created, if for those of you who use Facebook, they created basically a virtual drop-in lab. And they're they're talking about, and I, I'm totally cool with it. They're like, are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah, do it. I comment sometimes if I have time, which I don't usually have. But if somebody wants to do that, by all means, is there a link to do that. Somewhere or to no, it doesn't exist. You guys don't have one. Like the, the, the 243 one exists. Right, right. But that doesn't help you guys. I'm just thinking for next term. Oh, uh, I'm sure there is a link. You have to, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what the link is eventually. But yeah, I mean, if one of you guys wants to start something like that, that's a great way of not having to physically talk to somebody or not being able to physically talk yeah. with somebody, which I know your guys' schedules are all over the place. But that's what's so nice about something like Blackboard or Facebook. I like Facebook better because it seems more open. And you can get in there more easily. So if anyone wants to start it up, go for it. It just carries over to everything else. Yeah, totally. Blackboard's a new tool sometimes for people. So, um, so anyway, good. Next project teaches you how to count. In case you don't know already. I'm just going to show you. It's called super counting. That's not due for a couple weeks. You got plenty of time on that. Cool. And there were quizzes today, I think. Anybody do quizzes? Yeah. Couple? Okay, there were a couple, right? Cancer There's the one was hard. Which one were, which one were they? I forget the now. Men, men with cancer. Men with cancer. That one was. Wasn't well, you could time remember. Consuming. Don't forget this. It's choose your own adventure in here. I know. It's I want to do everyone. That's my homework, though. That's yeah. what I use as my homework. That, that's okay, but you okay. can also do the homework without submitting it and oh, then watch true. the videos for the solutions after they're done. I mean, you don't feel the need that you have to turn every single thing in. That's true. I didn't so there was that one, and there was also the drop the, cl drop the rock off the cliff one, right? Yeah, that Good. One was, that, one? that was more straightforward, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah way more straightforward. Way more straightforward. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Uh, watching Bear Girls with my son. Bear was like, "Yeah, if you throw a rock off a cliff, it falls 25 feet a second. I'm like, "No, it doesn't. You English twerp." <laughs> so I figured we'd analyze that with you guys. So anyway. Not that I don't love Bear. He's wonderful. If you're watching this, you're great. I keep your ass though. Um, okay. We good? Yep.
We're good. All right. So next week, I, I want to post quizzes, I think, this afternoon for next week. I've got at least one I love that I want to post. I might, I might post an exponential review quiz. And the reason I bring that up is what we're talking about. In class last time, we, we flipped the coin a bunch of times. And then right at the end, I had a TI glitch I had to fix. And I want to get back into our data and play with that with you guys again. And I want to compare and contrast this data that we're playing with. Did everybody get a deck of cards? They make their way around. You guys got cards? Good, good, good. We're going to play with those too. Um, if we ran out, I got a solution to make it do if we don't have enough cards for everybody. But I think we do, it looks like. So first things first, let's grab our, uh, our coin flip data. 